Elizabeth II has died. The Queen's death ended the longest reign in British history. She was also the world's oldest head of state. The Queen died peacefully at Bamar. Queen Elizabeth II was the longest reigning monarch in British history and the world's oldest head of state. On her death, the Queen's eldest son and heir, Charles, the former Prince of Wales, has become the King of the United States and 14 Commonwealth realms. In a statement, he said, The death of my beloved mother, Her Majesty the Queen, is a moment of the greatest sadness for me and all members of my family. We mourn profoundly the passing of a cherished sovereign and a much-loved mother. I know our loss will be deeply felt throughout the country, the realms and the commonwealth, and by countless people around the world. No official details have been released about what will happen over the coming days, but it is anticipated that the Queen will be given a full state funeral. Somebody asked me had I been to Africa before, which was nice of them to ask, but I did say that I had been everywhere in the Commonwealth in Africa and in other countries in Africa. I think I've seen more of Africa than almost anybody. <laughs> During this period of mourning and change, my family and I will be comforted and sustained by our knowledge of the respect and deep affection in which the Queen was so widely held. Everywhere I have traveled, in these lovely lands of South Africa and Rhodesia, my parents my sister and I have been taken to the heart of their people and made to feel that we are just as much at home here as if we had lived among them all our lives. When she returned from a night in the forest, it was to learn that she is now the queen, acceding to her father's throne immediately. It is also expected that her body will lie in state to allow the public to pay tribute. The king will sign off the final plans in the Highlight coming days. The West African recipe for an enchanting evening. The gay finale to 11 days of royal happiness. is an example of multilateralism at work, allowing its members, whatever their size or level of development, to have their voices heard in the concert of nations. I pray that the process of positive change underway in South Africa may be successfully continued. Heads of government in Harare will certainly do their best, I'm sure, to give it every encouragement.
your majesty you are looking well uh, uh, taking into account uh, your tight schedule uh, I'm very tomorrow I'm going to see 16 people I may not look so good tomorrow <laughs> Just for those that doesn't know about Queen Elizabeth, Princess Elizabeth Alexandra Mary was born in London on April 21, 1926. At the time, no one expected her to be the Queen as she was third in line to the throne behind her uncle and father. During her record-breaking reign, she dedicated her life to serving her country and commonwealth. In a radio address in 1947, on her 21st birthday, she said, I declare before you all that my whole life, whether it be long or short, shall be devoted to your service and the service of our great imperial family to which we all belong. Princess Elizabeth became queen in 1952 at the age of 25 when her father, King George VI, died. Her coronation took place 16 months later at Westminster Abbey. The queen held a number of other titles which will now automatically pass to her son and heir. She was the heir of Commonwealth, Commander-in-Chief of British Armed Forces and Supreme Governor of the Church of England. She was also patron to more than 600 charity and organizations. Away from her official duty, she was a devoted wife and mother to four children and dedicated grandmother to eight grandchildren and 12 great-grandchildren. In 1947, she married her wartime sweetheart, Prince Fully. widely regarded as a symbol of stability, working tirelessly to make sure the monarchy remained relevant during a period of immense social, technological and economic change. She was a monarch without equal, who will now be mourned across the globe. Rest in peace.